The seventh and final theme for Museum Week 2019 is friends. And what better way to end the week than visiting a museum founded on partnership and collaboration while celebrating with a bunch of your friends? We're ending the week off right with good friends and good times at the Hermitage Amsterdam. I brought the Republic of Amsterdam radio boys along for the ride today, and they hooked your girl up with a ride to the Hermitage Amsterdam on a boat, thanks to our friends over at Those Damn Boat Guys. It was the perfect day for a canal cruise, and my standards have now been raised for all future museum arrivals. I think the boat ride only hyped us up further, because once we got on land, the real party started. I got two grown men to frolic in a museum on camera. If that doesn't say friend, I don't know what does. The Hermitage Amsterdam is a branch museum of the original Hermitage located in St. Petersburg, Russia. And now this partnership of museums is celebrating its 10 year anniversary. The collection is housed in the Amstelhof, a former retirement home for elderly women built in 1682 under the name Out of Frauenhaus. Visiting a museum with fellow history buffs is an adventure all on its own. We were spewing off fun facts left, right, and center, mimicking statues, and getting so distracted with what was on the walls and in the display cases that we almost forgot that we were being filmed. The Dutch Golden Age is alive and well in their huge portrait gallery, and their celebratory 10-year anniversary exhibition has some stunning pieces, including a Venus statue from 23,000 years ago. Mind blown. After all of these museums this week, it was great to go out with a bang and celebrate a job well done with these boys. They were such a huge help with making this Museum Week collaboration happen. It just goes to show that you'll always get by with a little help from your friends. In keeping with our visit to the Hermitage, today's woman in culture is Catherine the Great, Empress of Russia. Born as Princess Sophie of Anhalt Serbst, she came to power in Russia after overthrowing her husband Peter III in a coup d'etat in 1762 and went on to become the longest ruling female leader of Russia. Catherine had a reputation as a patron of the arts, literature, and education. She began her art collection in 1764, purchasing paintings by Rembrandt, Rubens, Van Dyck, Franz Hals, Raphael, and Titian, just to name a few. That same year, Catherine had an extension built on the east of the Winter Palace to hold her many artworks. This was the very beginning of the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. Catherine went on to invest much of her identity in being a patron for the arts. And it was with this collection that Catherine was able to portray Russia as an enlightened society. Without Catherine's enthusiasm for culture, one of the world's most prestigious cultural heritage institutions wouldn't be here today. It's all thanks to a woman, and a pretty great one at that. Thanks for coming along on that field trip with me, you guys. If you had fun on that adventure, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And if you want to come on more field trips with me in the future, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down there as well. This episode is brought to you in part by the Republic of Amsterdam Radio. They do an amazing podcast on the history of the Netherlands and a bunch of other really cool things. A link to their website and the podcast is just in my description below, so definitely go ahead and check them out. One last huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. If you're thinking of becoming part of the online community of Dig It With Raven, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The link to that is also in my description. Say goodbye, my friends! friends.